What's up guys, Jake here again, and on today's video we'll be explaining the top five interior mods for the third gen Tacoma. Hopefully you guys like this video. We are filming with our new Sony ZV-1 today, so super stoked to have a little bit more professional videos coming out for you, so stay tuned. Now first up when we come into the truck is the Voss switch. This controls all of our auxiliary lighting on the truck. Right now we only have it set up on three different things, but as we get more lights, as we get chase lights, side lights, if we get rock lights, we'll be adding more of that to that. So one thing that's unique about this is it's actually mounted to our A pillar, which I'll show you guys right now. We had to drill a hole in the A pillar to mount it, but it's fairly stable there. It bounces around a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Then we ran the wires all the way down to the back to the firewall to where the battery is for that. Next on up in the truck, we're gonna talk about the Taco Garage Multi-Dash Kit. It's so super sleek. You can't see, but there's mounting plates all right here, which I'll show you guys. And all that it does to hook it up is it has RAM mount balls on each end here, and then you can hook up all of your desired accessories. So for us, we have our phone right here. We'll have our GoPro for whatever we need done, um, whether we're filming for the YouTube videos or we're just filming perspectives there. Super nice to have my phone up here for um, navigation since this truck doesn't have Apple CarPlay um, or just switching over to different songs and stuff like that. This little guy is not part of the Taco Garage multi-dash kit. This is just our throttle grenade set up here that helps us with the throttle response on the truck. So. Super nice setup here. I'll show you guys a couple more clips up close of the Taco Garage multi-dash kit. Install on this kit is fairly simple. As you can see, you have the mounting plate right back here. It sits super flush, just like I had stated before. And this whole trim piece actually right here will come straight out and then you'll just drill four holes, four or six, I don't remember, but they actually have a YouTube video on their channel of how to install the Taka Garage multi-dash kit. Then you're just gonna install these RAM mount balls all over, as you can see right here. It's a couple different holes, spots for these guys to go. Fully customized, super nice. You can set everything up. There's another hole over here, so you could set something up over here. You can set something up over here, and then you can just fully customize and adjust to your liking what you guys want up there. We'll add this as an addition, but this is not part of the Taka Garage, but this is actually the Hondo Garage. Pretty funny. Um, system that you can mount your phone to, you can mount an iPad to like we have right here where we use all of our Onyx and navigation as well for off-road trails. So all it is fairly simple is you're gonna pull off this dash piece one more time and then you'll get to where your air heat system is right here and then there's just two bolts on each side that clamp into here and then it tightens by a ram mount ball too. Super stable, this guy is not going anywhere. I'll show you guys a little closer up view of this, but let me know what you guys think of this as well. Number three on the interior mod list is the Miso Customs map lights on the third gen Tacoma. Super nice, we'll click these guys on for you, super bright. This is version two, so they have dual changing colors here. We'll switch on over to the back of the truck here. Switch these guys over as well. As you can see, it's super bright. Red is super nice at night if you're trying to film inside your vehicle. But let me know what you guys think of these as well. One more upgrade in the front until we move on to my favorite in the rear is this TRD coin tray. So I don't know what Toyota was thinking when they had this 
holder, cup holder set up here, but no one ever uses that space, so we threw in this Tyranny coin holder. That's super nice because it matches the color of the truck, so this is a great alternative to fill a stupid space that Toyota had some plan for. I don't know. Let me know what you guys use this spot for, but for me, we use this coin tray. Move on to number five on the interior mod list, and this one is my absolute favorite, which is our Tacoma Twins modular window molly panel setup back here. So, super nice setup as you guys can see. Super easy install. You're gonna have one bolt up there, one bolt up there in each corner and then you're gonna move these seats back and there's a couple more bolts as well. I actually have a write-up on Trail Tacoma that I'll link down in the description below to give you guys an idea of how easy this install is. Three options, my bad, two options here is you can just use the side and leave the middle open if you guys wanted or you can do what I did and use the whole back panel here as an option as well. You guys can mount whatever you guys want here. We have our flashlight, fire hydrant, axe. We got some medic kit over there and a couple more recovery tools in the back. But definitely one of my favorites. I love having this as space. That wraps it up for the top five best interior mods for your Tacoma. Hopefully you guys liked that video. As always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Let us know in the comments below what you guys wanna see next. Check out all the other adventures that we're on. And until next time, we'll be wandering.